Welcome back to Need for Speed Heat, boys. Today, we are officially starting up our Need for Speed Heat Let's Play. We've actually got our hands on the full version of the game a little bit early, courtesy of EA, so props to them. Over the next coming days, we're gonna be putting out daily Need for Speed Heat videos, so if you guys want to see that, make sure you subscribe. Anyways, with that, let's jump into Need for Speed Heat, boys. Now, you might have already seen that I've already actually posted the first 20 minutes of Need for Speed Heat. If you missed that, I will link to it down below. But we're going to pick up where we left off in that video, purchasing our first car. Now, a little recap if you haven't seen the first 20 minutes of the game already. Basically, long story short, there is a big problem in this city between the cops and the street racers. And spoiler alert, we are a big cause of those problems. Anyways, today we are choosing our first car. So what do we want to go with? Is it going to be a Camaro with a big old blower, the JDM icon, the German man whip, or the American muscle? The first time I actually played through the game, I was running this thing, the 180SX, and it was really, really cool. There's a bunch of really awesome mods for it, but I'm thinking I kind of want to go with the M3. Yeah, it might be brown, but we won't worry about that. That's fine. We can paint it afterwards. Hey oh, we're already getting the achievements. Welcome to Palm City. Pick up your first ride. Thank you, game. All right, so we've got to go and test our new car in our first race. We will head over to this one right here. All right, so let's give this thing a go. See what we got. It should be good. So yeah, we're in some desperate need of some dollar dollar bills. Our M3 is definitely not the quickest thing out there. We've got to build something capable. Now, I will be honest. I have absolutely no idea where this story is going. Anyways, if we want some big old bank, we got to be getting some good positions. I want to take this guy down as we're getting major understeer out of the M3. Okay, it doesn't want to turn. We'll continue to test the handling and see how it all is. Obviously, there's going to be a big learning curve as there is with any game. However, for the moment, I think it's just going to be try to take it slow. Try not to drift too much when we're not doing drift races and just try to get some pretty basic money, I think. That's a pretty good start, though. Second place, we had some good old-fashioned Forza AI at the very start there. I don't appreciate a game absolutely running away from me already on the first race. We pick up 7k. But anyways, we did have another race on our map. Ow! Where do they want us to go? Oh, they want us to go over to, to the raceway thing. Okay. Best thing you can do with all that bank is get yourself a nitrous kit. I got you, my dude. We'll go get ourselves a nitrous kit. We'll get some beef under this thing. It's really weird. I'm like instinctively pressing the A button for NOS and uh, there just is none. Hello? Anybody home? Let's see what we got. I like the wide body. Is it wide body? I think those are pulled fenders. They're only selling if they know you're gonna put the parts to good use. Who says I won't? Okay. Rookie's got confidence. There's only one way to make a name for yourself around here. Uh, I'm gonna guess that's racing. <laughs> Test drive complete. Thank you, thank you, game. So I think it already puts NOS into our car for us, I think. So campaign objectives, make a name, let Anna introduce herself or introduce you to the night racing scene. Luckily our car is actually just quick enough. So let's, let's go hit this up. I would like to point out, we did all of that and uh, they, they didn't actually install any NOS for us, which is kind of annoying. So we'll have to go back and do that later. Anyways, let's head over to Anna and go take a look at some of our night races and and cop running. Anna, hello. Welcome to the night scene races. Okay. Yo, that 350Z looks hella good, I'm just gonna say. Okay, this is one thing I absolutely love about this game. You full-on cruise with other characters. I don't know why. It's something so basic. It's literally just drive with a friend. Okay, so the night scene is already kicking off. Look at everybody ready to... Thank you for crashing into me. The night scene is already kicking off. Okay. Oh, I absolutely love that guy. Man's filming my exhaust. I'm in a stock M3, but don't worry. I can shoot flames anyways. I love it. All right. And away we go. So we got eight people in our night race. I still have no NOS. It's my instinct. Absolutely mash eight. It doesn't do anything. 
Okay, Anna's Anna's got some horsepower. Girl is running. All right, well, the thing with night racing is usually the cops show up. I'm just gonna say the environment in this game looks so sick. I love the colors. Like, the purple and the pinks. Oh, it's like Need for Speed Payback. I think we can all admit didn't have the best, like, atmosphere. I'm pretty sure Need for Speed Heat feels a lot better. Uh, all right, sure, just slow down before the end. Well, we've got pretty lucky. No cops this time around across the line. Thank you, game. All right, Anna, what's up? Where are we going now? All units, we have reports of a street race in progress. Ah, man. Okay, cops. No, 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 no. All right, well, since we're in the night, we probably should try to level up a little bit more. So the cool thing is you get a certain amount of rep for doing particular races, right? Say for this race, we get a thousand rep just to make it easy. If we go up to heat level two, which means the cops get a little bit harder, we multiply everything by two. So it's kind of almost best off to go in the middle of the night, try to do as many things as you can, and then bank it all in at the end by heading back to the garage and ending up the night. So maybe that's what we're gonna do here. I mean, we've got another simple race. There's no cops around just yet, so... I mean, we'll go until the cops show up, I guess. I mean, it won't be getting us money, but it will be getting our name out there. You kind of need to do a balance of the two. One, obviously, you need money to make your cars a little faster. Because as you do your night races, you'll be getting more notoriety, I guess you can say. And you'll get invited to more races against harder people. However, if we're rocking in second or third place as we nearly go head on with a box truck, I think we'll just... Keep rocking it out, if I'm honest. Try to go... Oh, man. The understeer in this M3 is not very nice. All right. Well, we do seem a little quicker than the Mustang. He's actually really similar with us. I'm trying to get some... Oh, I didn't see the corner. It's okay. We still got time. We need more corners. Come on. We're gaining way quicker through the corners than the Mustang guy. Come on. I wish I had my NOS right now. There we go. Finish line right around here. No, the understeer again. Where's the Mustang? Yes! <laughs> I thought the car made us lose! No way! Oh my god, and we didn't even get cops again! We're still rep level one, so we should probably do another race, if I'm honest, or at least try to get in a mini cop chase. Like, if you, if you look at our flame at the top, that shows how close we are to the next heat level. If we go up to heat level two, our amount of rep this night will actually double. So it's almost worth it for us to get in a little cop chase right now. So let's go and antagonize a cop. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Hello. No. You care? You care? Yeah, cop chase started. I was just beeping my horn at him. All right, chased by one cop. We'll see if we can get away from this guy. I mean, it also counts if you crash into cops, so I will probably do some of that. We'll hang out close to the gas station, so if we need to repair our car, we can. But let's see. Let's see if we can take this man out of here. Heat level two already. That's exactly what we wanted. All right, so let's just lose this cop. We've already doubled our reputation for tonight, and I think we've just run away from the cop. All right. Let me put a waypoint on the safe house over here. We'll get over there and we will say goodbye and level up. Look at this, we're already escaping. Oh, never mind. He saw me. He totally saw. Yeah, he sees me. Okay, goddamn. All right, let me see if I can throw the cop with a little bit of a cheat move. If I drive all the way down here, drive into the water, will the cop try to follow me in? Come on, bud. No? You don't want to follow me? You don't want to take a little swim? Come on. Done yet? No, he's not following me. Ah, there he went. And just like that, the cop's gone. There is a need for speed heat hot tip for you. If you need help running away from the cops, just dip your car into a little bit of water. I mean, it will give you a little bit of damage, so watch out for that. Our car's a little broken right now. Anyways, into the garage we go. End the night. Let's see how much reputation we get. Thank you, thank you. We get some money. Oh, we're up. oh, never mind. Our bank stayed exactly the same. Reputation, 1,900 times our heat multiplier times two. 4,000 rep. We go from level one all the way up to level three and about a half. That's not bad. All right. I mean, that's not bad at all for a first night. Okay. Yo, what's going on? What's this next morning thing? The climate. 
Oh, hey. My sister giving you the grand tour, huh? Something like that. Where are you staying? That's a good question. How about a garage? Yeah. People stay here all the time. You sure? Find a free couch. It's all yours. I'm living in a garage, man. <laughs> God damn. Make a name completed. Well, thank you very much. Oh, do we actually get five grand for that? That's not bad. Yo, that ain't bad at all. 13K, we pick up an achievement. Humble beginnings reach rep level two. I've been added to the starter crew. No, I don't, I want my own crew, yo. All right, well, I guess we better get that NOS installed since the game's been yelling at me. Yo, you've got racer challenges. What is this? I've never seen this before. Day challenges, win a day event. So if we take down a cop, we one star a speed trap. We do all of that. We get money and rep. No way, that's awesome. All right, well, what about before we send ourselves back out into the open world why don't we make our little bmw kind of cool we probably should be spending it on actual performance things but who doesn't love a good wide body kit hey we get another achievement change my name i changed my license plate well thank you gabe all right let's just tint up the windows and we will give our car a little stance and a little paint job okay good yo i'm actually really digging like the baby like kind of teal that looks pretty sick. Yo, we get another achievement for that. Make a wrap. Because I kind of riced my car, we now need to earn some money back. So let's see what we've got for some money-making events. We'll also try to bang out our objectives so we can kind of get a two-for-one, get a little bit of money, get a little bit of reputation, and then maybe next episode we do the same thing in the night. So now before I've headed back into the open world, I've actually gone in and I've made a crew real quick. Now, I will be honest, I don't actually know how crews work in Need for Speed Heat. I think there's only like a 30-player limit, which really, really sucks. But we've now got an AR-12 gaming crew, which is pretty cool. Anyways, one of the things we had to go and do was to go and beat an event. So let's go up to this one. This one doesn't seem too bad. And if we do it, we get 12,000 credits. No way. Okay, so let's go. Six people in this race, starting from the back. We've now got the NOS, which is very, very nice. We should probably be spending our money on things that actually make us go a little bit quicker and... Make it a little bit easier to drive. I didn't know I could actually drive through that, but okay, we got lucky. We got a little bit of shaking and baking to do. We'll try to bang out all of these objectives and we'll see what happens. I will be honest, I've never actually seen these objectives before. I think they were added in from the time I was in the UK and I was playing this game the first time to now, which is really cool. I was also told that there was like 900 plus bug fixes between those two times, which is sick. Yo, okay, I'm starting to realize this is the most twisty race there is oh, as I go straight into the wall. Okay, I think I've definitely got to put some more money into the car because it's currently being burned by... Never mind, ignore what I said. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, though, not a difficult race. The AI was nowhere to be seen. Thank you very much, game. That should be a big 12,000 bucks. Thank you, thank you. All right, that ain't bad. Look at us go. All right, what were my other objectives that I had to do? Can I... How do I see my objectives? Okay, I found something that needs to get looked at. I don't think I can see my objectives. Di wait, wait. Select day chat. Really? Really? They don't automatically go. While we're doing it, narrowly speed by six traffic vehicles, easy enough, and we'll try to find a speed trap along the way. Okay, I'm just gonna say, that's really annoying. How is that not on by default? Okay, so we've got this race over here that we can do. That's for 10 grand. I don't actually see any speed traps around though. I don't think we've unlocked any. Okay, let's see if we can keep beating people. I think the AI have actually upgraded their cars. So we'll see. Uh, I think I'll take that as a no. No, they haven't upgraded their cars. Sorry, bud. Well, that's first place. So I'll be honest, I have no idea what's happened to the AI this time around. The guy in second place is a thousand yards behind. I don't know what's going on. I'm pretty sure the AI is stopped for a coffee or something, or they're just not calibrated properly for that event. A thousand yards victory. I'll take it. The easiest $10,000 I will ever get. I'm not going to complain with that. The AI is not even finished yet. Okay. Anyways, did that work? Did that track my... Hey, there we go. Okay, it is tracking my stuff. Narrowly avoid 
six traffic vehicles. So let's go yoink on by. How does that not count? I guess while we're doing this, I will set a waypoint to somewhere where I think there might be a speed trap. I guess there would be one up in these twisty roads. So I guess we'll head up there. Okay, we're getting the racer challenges done. This is good. Yo, we need one more car. Okay. I think there's not a big enough like closing speed. Uh, we, yeah, we did it. Okay, there we go. Nicely done. Okay, let's find this speed trap and we can call it a day. Oh, we've actually got a thing right here. Is it a drifting one? Is it a drifting one? No, no, it's not. That's a speed challenge. That's a speed trap. Okay, we need 110 miles an hour and then we got it. Okay, well, going downhill and with NOS, we should be able to do that. Let's see. Yo, we can also get that billboard. I'm just going to say 110 miles an hour. There you go. We get some dollar dollar bills for that one. Has that counted? Claim your rewards in your garage. Okay, let's head on back. Leveled up. New cars have been unlocked. Does that mean we're already level four? It does. We can go buy a Lotus Exige. Oh, well, thank you, man. Much appreciated. All we've got now to do is the night stuff. Okay. Anyways, boys, that is where I'm going to leave this for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, over the next coming days is going to be a bunch of Need for Speed Heat gameplay. So... If that's something you want to see, make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to check out the AR-12 store for the brand new winter hats, which are back in the store. There is a link down below. And I'll be back later today with some more Need for Speed Heat. And I'll see you guys then. Bye!